with some incredible news about the upcoming OnePlus Z and I'll be sharing the details right after this. Please subscribe followed by the bell. You can also keep up on Facebook, Twitter, and you can purchase any Samsung Galaxy phones or Apple phones by clicking the links in the description. So this week has been full of news for those waiting the One Plus Z we got plenty of good news, but unfortunately there's also some bad depending on the One Plus Z a rumored code name for the next smartphone in the works from One Plus could be a return to form for a phone maker that rose to prominence by building flagship killing phones that delivered high-end capabilities without equally high price tags. Recent releases, like the OnePlus 8 Pro, certainly deliver on great specs and performance, but it's on the pricey side at $899. Even the $699 OnePlus 8 is more expensive than many other OnePlus models. If you're looking forward to the OnePlus C let me know in the comments. What country you will be purchasing from start with and maybe the best news for OnePlus he finds the price could be incredibly low. The mainstream competition is of course can be the Z2020, which launched at $400. The Pixel for 8 which is expected to be 350, so seems OnePlus have done what they do best. They've undercut them with the launch price of just $300 for the One Plus Z. This has been confirmed 100% for comp, I tweeted it's been a while, and he quoted a retweet of the One Plus One Z was a true flagship killer looks at a price of $299. So many are speculating that this is what he's referring to. This is true in the OnePlus he is no doubt can you do well mid-range 5G smartphone for just $300 is great value for money. We also have a tweet a couple of days ago from the cop Lao, and he said he was ready for something new for OnePlus hashtag at new beginnings of this is of course a huge hint at the new budget friendly OnePlus Z if Pete last week wasn't enough. The CEO also posted an official blog on the One's is no doubt can be the OnePlus Z, I think this may be where some confusion is Max Chase tweet. Let us all to think that it could be called the One Plus Note his tweet was very vague, so it can either be the Note product line and the One Plus C phone, or maybe it is the One Plus, nor this not forget that we also assume that snort, and it could be another word beginning with the end. Unfortunately this blog post also comes with a little bit of bad news. Depending on your region state that they can be starting at relatively small and introducing this in Europe and India first. If you're not for me that the new may have to import the OnePlus C, it goes on to say that they are looking to bring this line to North America in the near future. They haven't given us any idea of time scale was also in this blog post a link to a new Instagram account, and it's called it's a OnePlus C thing. As well as this, the official OnePlus Twitter also tweeted every story has a beginning, and this one starts tomorrow Instagram below it. They put a link to this Instagram account which, if you want to love yourself is OnePlus Lite say thing. This is either confirming it is called the One Plus C patrolling us because it's not called the One Plus called the One Plus a light One Plus C the One Plus Note or anything else. It doesn't really matter as can be a great mid-range phone if it comes at a cost of $300 and it's no doubt can have success with her. We are 100% on the name we already know many details about the One Plus C, including the design specs launch date and now the cost to going to run through all of it. If you're new here, then don't forget to subscribe to working to get right into it, as we covered the OnePlus C has a full screen display. The ponchos of the camera top center, the display is reportedly can be a 6 point mers are true, OnePlus will do so by holding the line on price, even if it means fewer fancier features in the OnePlus C or OnePlus Nord, as it looks like the phone will be called. Best cheap phones. Find the best budget phone CR OnePlus 8 Pro review, we're expecting to see the lower cost OnePlus phone arrive sometime this summer, after rumors about such a phone emerged late last year. What should you expect from the next phone from OnePlus? Here's what we've heard about the OnePlus C OnePlus Nord, including rumors about its release date and potential specs. OnePlus has seemingly confirmed that the phone will be called the OnePlus Nord, according to a since-deleted Instagram photo. A new OnePlus CT is on Instagram, has confirmed the release date for July, OnePlus CEO Pete Lau has both confirmed the OnePlus C's existence and spilled details regarding its philosophy on the company's own forums. Here's what we know from his announcement. A Twitter-based phone leaker is teasing that the OnePlus C may feature four rear cameras, but we're a bit skeptical toward that rumor. When we first started hearing rumors about a budget option from OnePlus, most of the reports to scroll were still in the works, and it seemed possible that a light version would debut alongside those two models. Well, the April 14 launch event for the OnePlus 8 lineup came and went, with no light phone. So that leaves us still anticipating the arrival of the OnePlus 8 Lite, though it sounds as if OnePlus is taking a different approach with the name. In late March, phone leaker Max Weinbach tweeted that OnePlus would adopt a new name for its budget phone. The OnePlus C. E. That's actually a callback to OnePlus's past. In 2015, the phone maker released a device called the OnePlus X that it sold as a lower-cost version of the company's main flagship. The OnePlus C name might signal a return to that approach. 
However, a more recent report says that OnePlus could wind up calling its new budget phone the OnePlus Nord. Leaker Max J and the publication PhoneRena have both referred to the new name, and PhoneRena notes that OnePlus trademarked Nord by OnePlus back in March. The trademark said it would apply to smartphones, but also to smartwatches, smart TVs, laptops and other devices. So this could be a whole new value-focused product line for Instagram account briefly shared a photo that included the Nord name, which is as close to a confirmation as we've gotten. For the sake of clarity, we'll continue to refer to the upcoming phone as the OnePlus E in the rest of this rumor roundup, at least until we see additional proof that the OnePlus Nord name is a go. The OnePlus C release date will likely be in July. This is according to a OnePlus C tease on Instagram and Morse code. In addition, OnePlus CEO Pete Lau teased an imminent announcement on Twitter on June 22. However, we don't know the exact date just yet. An earlier tweet from Leaker Max J featured an image of what looks to be a OnePlus C promotional graphic, touting a July 2020 launch date. It's unclear if that graphic comes from OnePlus itself or from someone's fertile imagination, but a July release date is evenly spaced between this spring's OnePlus 8 rollout and the potential OnePlus 8T debut later in the year. In the days since making that tweet, OnePlus and Lao in particular have started to say more about the OnePlus C. Lao posted a message to OnePlus's own forums, the day, I'm very excited to announce that we are bringing the premium flagship experience that you've come to expect from OnePlus to a new, more affordable smartphone product line, Lao's post reads. Never settle has always been at the core of OnePlus. For more than six years, that has meant working hard to always deliver the best experience for flagship smartphone users. However, as we've grown together with our community, we know that there are many people 1080, which gives us 403 pixels per inch. We already know that this is also going to be at least a 90Hz display. Considering OnePlus officially said that all future models would be. There are rumors thing that could be 120Hz. These appear to be untrue. The display will of course be protected by Gorilla Glass for this moment in time. We don't know what version is can be no fingerprint scanner on the rear of the one, plus Z pretty safe to assume that we can get the in-display fingerprint scanner, when it comes to the self the camera on the front, there are many different rumors floating around, but many agree that this can be a 12 megapixel sensor, when it comes to the rear of the one, plus Z for vertical camera alignment and digital camera setup, with the LED flash leaks were suggesting that it could be a triple camera setup. These also turned out to be false. As we covered earlier at the lack of a physical fingerprint scanner on the back is we'll be getting in display one when it comes to the rear camera's reports, suggesting that the primary cameras can be a 48 megapixel sensor. The second three will be a 16 megapixel ultra wide, and of course we get the LED. The second three will be a 16 megapixel ultra wide, and of course we get the LED flash on the bottom one. Plus, these cameras are going to support both optical and electronic image stabilization, before the power button and alert slider on the right-hand side of the one, plus C with the volume buttons on the left. The phone is of course powered by USB Type-C, and there is number 3 and a half no headphone jack. Many people early on reported the one plus C was can be powered by media text. I immensity 1000 it's just not going to be the case. The OnePlus C it can be powered by the Snapdragon 765, 5G, the smart thing to come up with the choice of 128 or 256 storage, and also 8 or 12 gigs of RAM. The use of the Snapdragon 765, 5G, also means that this phone will have 5G support for those unconcerned with 5G, it will of course support earlier LTE networks below the phone I mentioned, measuring in 159.2 x 74 x 8.6 mm, and it will be powered by a 4000 million power battery support for 30, what fast charging powered by a 4000 million power battery support for 30, what fast charging when it comes to the pricing, is still very much unknown at the moment, but it will of course, have to be lower than the 8. Many were estimating the range we can start around $450, but I think it could actually be lower. The $450 Lee came out very early on in the market has changed a lot since the time with the iPhone C at $400, and the Pixel F expected to be $350, is creating some very fast competition, and the mid-range market, with OnePlus One to compete her that you have to do the same. Overall though, it's looking like a great phone, and suffering a lot of the price is 61 plus going back to what they know best for those of you that want to purchase one though, is being launched next month in July. We don't know exactly what date yet, but Max has hinted that July has been fairly reliable when it comes to the OnePlus information. Unfortunately, that's the news I have you today is also information comes and I'll be sharing it straight away. As always, though, I'd like to know your thought in the comments below. There is waiting for the OnePlus C what you think of it, not initially launching and below. There is waiting for the OnePlus C what you think of it, not initially launching in America. Please subscribe, like the video, comment thanks for watching see you on my next video one peace out. Down.